Hey guys and dolls, hope February is serving you well. I'm here to do Capricorn's career reading for the month of February. Um, I'm going to leave these short and sweet. Let me know if you'd like a longer video. My information is below if you'd like to work with me. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> What's weird is I just list, I like, I follow other readers as well and I listen to an Aries reading, which I'm an Aries. And this looks reminiscent of that. <laughs> um, it's just strange. Just kept pulling the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups together as a pair. So it's like there's a dynamic duo at work that work really well together. Um, this might slowly grow into a romance, but I feel like there's a dynamic duo that work really well together. And um, we have the Nine of Wands reflected by the Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, so maybe with the Emperor. So maybe you're dealing with an Aries. Um, or this could be the boss, but I feel like there's been a lot of worry as to what this is, um, on either side, maybe on the couple's side, or this dynamic duo, this two that work really well together, um, but they're between, between the Nine of Swords or the Nine of Wands, so... It feels protective and defense, like this person's being very defensive and like just chopping stuff down that, you know what I mean? The dead, the dead sticks or wands or whatever, just kind of getting it out of the way. So maybe um, some s superior, ten, then ten, moves to ten of wands from the nine to the ten. And then King of Wands. So I'm definitely seeing an Aries in this or a Leo. But they're together. They're a perfect couple. But they're water signs. So there's a lot of motions between them. But this person's kind of looks like they're calling the shots. So that could also be um, a superior in your organization. But then after this is kind of brought to brought to a head or brought to the everybody else's knowledge there's like a ten of there's a a ten of wands where your burdens are dropped and then the world I'm not reading reversals I'm just looking the story lays out differently um, and you notice things differently when it's reversed. So I'm not necessarily reading reversals unless it strikes me to read it reversed. So, like, this is... This could lead to marriage in time. And, and I feel like these people will want to be together and want to work together. And the way the cards align, it's like, I feel like heavy soulmate energy here. It's like one finishes the other sentences. Like that's how well they work together. It was kind of meant for them to meet in this, in this scenario. Whatever it is, even if it's just a working relationship, these people work really well together. And are able to take on the world, really. It's like finding your your work husband or your work wife. It's kind of like that feeling. Seven of Cups, reverse Seven of Swords. So, and then lovers. <laughs> so it's like, I think maybe if this is a love scenario, people are doing this behind like closed doors, even though it's a work relationship. Um, there could be... 
an affair, I mean, if one of them is married, it does make sense. But then Hierophant, I feel like this is going to lead to something more lucrative and more serious. It's just slowly working up to that Eight of Pentacles. So something is happening at work. Eight of Pentacles in the... Uh, in the Rider Weight deck is like somebody working away at something. So it's like that person helping them work at something. There's a lot of affection between them, a lot of a lot of energy. They are each other's match in a sense. Okay. And that's all I have for Capricorn. Like I said, short, short and sweet. Um, and again, if you'd like to work with me, my information's below. And please follow me on Instagram. Like, share, and subscribe would be wonderful. And I will see you next week for the energy checkup. Take care, guys. See ya.